now we're going to count Chris's radio pulse. So how you find the radio pulse is you take the thumb side, two or three fingers along the thumb side of the wrist till you find a, uh, a pulse. And then we count it for a full minute. You should feel the, the thumping or the beating of the, uh, the wave of the artery. Start on a number that you can keep track of. And count for one full minute. If the patient should have an irregular heartbeat, then we're going to do an apical pulse. And this is a stethoscope. The first thing you're going to do is clean the stethoscope. This is the diaphragm side and this is the bell side. It's very important that you clean the ears of the stethoscope before each use and after each use with alcohol to prevent the spread of bacteria. So it goes in your ear. Make sure you get it on the right side. And you feel the apical pulse by mid chest to the left over the apex of the heart. You should be able to hear a love dub, and you will count that for one full minute. After you've counted the, the apical pulse, you will count the respirations and many times you will count the respirations while you're doing the apical pulse because the person will be aware that you're counting their respirations and they will have an uneven number of respirations. So while you're counting the pulse, sometimes you just leave the stethoscope in your ears and count the rise and fall of the chest for one full minute. Put that on pause a second. Take like a couple of